Hi everyone, it's your boy Zach, and I have a question. Are you still a Karen if you're making a legitimate complaint? <laughs> because I felt like a Karen yesterday, and then I was like, you know what, it, it's, it's tone. You can have a completely legitimate complaint, but you can come off as a Karen. Like, a few months ago I went to see the Batman, I hadn't seen a movie in theaters since the pandemic started, and they changed the soda from free refills to no refills, you just have to buy another cup at full price. And I was real casual about it. Like, they, I was confused at first and explained. I go, oh, really? And the guy makes a face like, yeah, I don't know. And I go, I don't think that's a good idea, but I know it's not your decision. And so I think I expressed myself but didn't come off as a Karen. But yesterday, I, <laughs> first of all, I didn't know that wheel lock lug nuts or keys existed until yesterday. When I tried to get my tires changed and they're like, oh, we can't do it because you don't have the key. And I'm like, but... You're the people who switched off the front tires, like, a freaking year ago. <laughs> like, all I do with this motherfucker is put gas in it and drive it. Like, however you did it last year, just do that again. Somebody made a comment. I did a community post about Tom King, and that's what the uh, thumbnail is from. And I was just like, we don't deserve Tom King. I mean, like, literally. We did nothing to deserve having this, you know narcissistic sad sack ritually humiliate male superheroes over and over for what like half a decade now and so someone made a comment and they said are we addicted to comics and are companies simply taking advantage of that and my mind was absolutely blown because it's like that's what it feels like. It feels like they know they have one or two generations who have been collecting comics since they were in school. And it's just become a habit. And you know, it, traditionally you talk about addiction, you talk about, you know, uh, nicotine, alcohol, food. I didn't have a cell phone for a week, and I did not realize how addicted I was to having a cell phone until I didn't have a cell phone for a week. Every stoplight, I would like, and in just instinctively reach for a cell phone that wasn't there. Um, and I was like, wow. So one of the things that was good about having that one week uh, cold turkey break is that I realized it's like, oh yeah, I was actually addicted to just obsessively checking it all day long. So now I'll do stuff like I'm going to the gym and I just leave my phone at home. Now you can say like, oh, what if there's an emergency? I'm driving down roads that have like a business like every block. Like, there, I don't know, <laughs> I don't know if cell phone or a pay phone still exists, but it's not, you know, I'm not going way out in the, you know, the desert. It's It's a very safe environment. Worst case scenario, I get into a fender bender and I can't call my insurance. But this is a pretty, you know, straight shot. And I get a much better workout and I'm just more relaxed. I'm not having neck pain because my neck isn't craned awkwardly to look at a cell phone for hours a day. You know, I, I used to like mow the lawn and like stop and check my cell phone and then like continue mowing. It's like, no, I just, it's just inside. And when I'm done, I'll go check it. But one of the things I think about is how, you know, like I reach for comics. Like I wake up, I check the comic book news. Like at best, comics is a, is a, a weekly, you know, there's new comics in stores every week. So to obsessively check like for decades, like the first thing when I wake up and it really does feel like, you know, it's not just the collector market, it's also quite frankly, the addict market, or, you know, let's just say habitual, that sounds nicer, the habitual comic book customer who just goes in, and I remember the days of, like, going in, and there's nothing good, but it's so awkward to, like, leave, because you got to walk past the cashier, first of all, you feel like a shoplifter, because you're like, oh, you were in the shop for, like, 30 minutes, now you're just walking out with nothing, it's like, yeah, have you seen what's on the stands, it's nothing, Good. And uh, I, I really think this is just like a brief video just to put that idea out into the universe. We are addicted to comics. 
and we are going to habitually consume them even when we don't get the same, quote, you know, good reaction or good high as we used to get off of them. And we will just do it forever until we are forced to go cold turkey or we have the, uh, why did I almost say gumption? <laughs> Who says gumption? We have the uh, self-discipline to distance ourselves from something that no longer makes us happy. Anyway, thanks for watching. Bye.